asking fans for money. Never. Can I tape you saying that? I tweeted it already. But I do video. Well, I'll do a close-up. I'll do a close-up. <laughs> William Wagner here. We're here with Taj, who is with uh, Team Michael Jackson, I think. Team Michael Jackson. Team Michael Jackson. She has a statement on the current uh, dilemma or controversy about the documentary, Catherine Jackson raising money to do a special musical-type documentary or something like that about the private life of Michael and his music and his friends. Okay, here's Taj. Hi guys, sorry I'm lying down, I'm sick. Um, the documentary is called Remembering Michael. Uh, Mrs. Jackson did do a small segment on there promoting the documentary. Um, I feel she did that because she is in contract with Howard Mann, but I know 1000% she's not behind him asking fans for money. She, she's not supporting um, Howard Mann soliciting fans for money for this documentary. And if you also notice the small clips of Prince, Paris and Blanket, if you look at their hair, that, those segments are three years old. Um, these are old clips that Howard Mann has put together. And there was a time when I was very close with Howard Mann, Trent and Lowell Henry, so there was a lot of information that I was privy to at the time. Um, Howard Mann's been shooting clips for a long time to do this documentary. Um, he even got me um, questioning Randy Phillips leaving the courtroom. At that time, he had hired a paparazzi guy to get a whole bunch of clips from the Conrad Murray trial, so he'll probably be incorporating that into this um, documentary as well. But please don't give a dime. Um, Howard Mann owes $2,000 to the Michael Jackson estate. He's a broke-ass, good-for-nothing crook. It's just another thing I want to say as well. Uh, three years ago, Mrs. Jackson was on ABC. It was She was with Heal the World Foundation, Melissa Johnson, and they presented a check to the Transitional Homeless Centre. Um, that check was supposed to um, be a smaller check for $10,000, which was supposed to come from Howard Mann. Howard Mann never gave that $10,000 to the Transitional Centre. So that big um, hype that you saw on ABC and the big huge check that was presented to the um, Transitional Centre, it was never actually backed up with cash. That's the kind of dirty deal that um, Howard Mann does. So please don't give any money to this Kickstart. And also, I just want to point out, if Kickstart does not get $3 million to make this documentary, that's the amount of money that Howard Mann is looking for. If he only gets $2 million, the documentary won't be made and he gets to keep all that money. And, you know, you're going to be chasing shadows trying to get your money back. So, for God's sake, do not put your credit card details into that kickstart.com that's asking for money for uh, Remembering Michael documentary. Thank you, Mr. Wagner. Who do you think is behind this? What lawyers put this information out, Taj? And what if Catherine Jackson did an interview with me in the next week or two and said she is behind it? Would that change your mind about it? Or is there something else going on here? There is a segment on the video that's been released where Catherine Jackson is promoting the video. So Catherine Jackson, obviously, she will be behind anything that's positive um, on Michael. What she's not behind is fans being asked for $3 million. So... She does support the, the documentary, she'll support anything on Michael, but she doesn't know about fans being asked for money. And I spoke to Perry Sanders yesterday, and he says, he thanked me for bringing it to his attention, and he said, no, Mrs. Jackson is not behind the fund collecting for this documentary. That came from um, Perry. Um, I discussed other things with Perry, but when I discussed the soliciting for donations he said oh my god don't even get me started on that he was livid he could not believe that somebody's using mrs jackson to ask for money um but like i said again i don't know if mrs jackson will come out or if her representatives will come out in the open and ask you not to support um this documentary um there are technicality issues because mrs jackson does have a signed contract with Howard Mann, which she signed three, four years ago. So we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you know, what legal war might be going on. We as fans, the only thing we can do 
is to spread the word that no fan should give any money to Howard Mann to kickstart.com. We're down here in Orange County with uh, Taj Malik on the recently inaugurated fundraising, which she apparently believes that neither Katherine Jackson's attorney nor Katherine Jackson knows her video clip is being used to raise the money. I don't know. I haven't talked directly to Katherine, but I will try to make inquiries and see if her attorney will give me a statement on on tape. I'm just trying to get to the bottom to get to the truth of what's what's going on. Didn't know about this till last night. William Wagner, Orange County. Let's see what Taj has to say. Yeah. You um, want to say that on camera? Yeah, well if you look at the clip she doesn't mention money. No, she didn't. Um, hello um, everybody. Uh, there's a new documentary coming out presented by Katherine Jackson. It's called Remembering Michael. Um, yesterday I, sp I spoke to Mrs. Jackson's team and I was informed that she's not aware of this and she's not behind this. So I shot off a load of tweets to inform everybody of this. But after further investigating, spending a day on this online, it looks like Mrs. Jackson is behind this fundraising project for this documentary. So it's up to you guys what you do, what you feel like doing. Um, I myself, even though it kills me, will not support this just because Howard Mann is involved um, in this documentary. Um, please bear in mind that this money you're donating, if it does not reach the three million threshold that Howard Mann is asking for, he still gets all of your money if it's one million, half a million, whatever you know amount he collects, and he still hasn't got enough for the documentary, so be very careful because you don't know where your money is going to end up and um, also bear in mind he does owe two million to the estate of Michael Jackson. Thank you. It's late in the afternoon on Tuesday. It's William Wagner. That's the involvement of Taj's thinking on this. It's William Wagner just trying to find out what the truth is and what's really going on. Catch me next clip. Bye-bye. It seems clear to me that Katherine Jackson is behind this documentary along with the Michael Street children. What is not clear to me is why the estate controlled by Howard Weitzman, John Brock and their law firm, why does the estate not give them a waiver to use the material? And then they wouldn't need to raise so much money. After all, the question that comes to my mind and the question I want to ask John Branca is why not just waive the fee? Isn't the estate for the benefit of the children of Michael? Isn't the estate for the benefit of Michael's mother? So why should they have to pay the estate since it's supposed to be for their benefit? That's the question I think people should be asking and it isn't being asked. William Wagner from Orange County.